Hi guys, welcome back to the Hebrew Family Files. If you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I make another video. So today we're going to be making salt dough hand prints for my children. Alright, let's see how they're made. So for these keepsakes, you will need four cups of flour, one cup of salt, and one and a half cups of water. You will first mix the flour and salt together and then slowly pour in the water. You will then mix until it becomes more dough-like and then you will start kneading with your hands. If it feels too dry, you can add one to two tablespoons of water in. And if it feels sticky, you can add one tablespoon of flour in. And you will want it about this consistency. Then you will put some flour onto your area and start to knead it out and flatten it. The next step is you're going to flatten and roll it out. If you do not have a rolling pin, you can use a water bottle. Roll it out until it is totally flat and there are no creases. Then you are going to have your child come and you are going to put their hand into the dough. When you do this, you want to make sure you press down firmly on their fingers and their hands to make a good imprint in the dough. Next, you are going to take a butter knife and cut any shape you want around your child's hand. My children, my first child chose a heart. Then after you have cut the shape out, you wanna remove the excess dough and smooth out the sides. Then you will want to make a hole in the dough where you will be hanging it from. Now make sure this hole is big enough because when it cooks, it will shrink slightly. I used an unsharpened pencil to make the hole. You will then repeat this process with each child using whatever shape they want you to use. Then after this, you will be putting it in the oven. You're going to want to set your oven to preheat it to 250 degrees. Now the hand prints will take approximately two to three hours. I lined my baking sheet with wax paper to help the hand prints not stick to the pan. You will want to flip them over halfway through the baking cycle. For this next part, you are going to have your children paint the hand prints. You will need painting utensils, paints, and glitter if you choose. Now you will want to let the hand prints cool at least a half an hour before having your children paint them. You will want to let the hand prints dry fully after you have painted them and added any glitter. Then you will be taking string or ribbon, I have cut three pieces of ribbon, and putting it through the hole and tying it into the back. Now if the hole got blocked by some paint, just take a sharp object and poke the hole back through. Then you can hang them on your wall or wherever you please. What I did was I wrote on the back with a permanent marker each child's name and age. These are such beautiful keepsakes that will last for years to come. So those are the hand prints. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and they're very easy to make. Thank you for watching. Bye.